Here at Golden Fuel Systems, we're always trying to improve our product. Many people have tanks made out of aluminum in, in the back of their vehicle, and although that's not necessarily a bad thing, what we'd like to demonstrate here today is the durability and how rugged our new Trekker tanks are. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this aluminum tank here, and this is filled with water, and we're going to raise it up and we're going to drop it and see where the break point is. And after we've demonstrated where the break point of this, we're going to take our new Trekker tank over here, and we're going to do the same thing and see where the threshold is for that and see how the durability of this tank is. So like I said, these are both filled with water and uh, we'll go ahead and do a five foot drop with this one at first. That's 64 inches, 5'4". Okay. Alright, Shasta, go ahead and let loose. John, whenever you're ready. Not bad. Landed. Landed pretty flat. Uh, no leaking. It survived a five foot drop without any trouble. So let's take her up to ten. That's good, right? Right about there. All eh? right. Release. Good. Oh. Okay. Come in close for a shot. Oh, we got leaking already. Well, we uh, we definitely uh, blew our cap off, but that's actually not. Yeah, it's leaking on these corners. As traumatic as I. But let's uh, stand this up here. Look right here. Do we have Look a... right here, there's a dry spot and it's dripping. Right. Hold on, just let it oh, sit yeah. there and let me get that drip. Okay, let's... Uh... Alright, we have some trauma here on one of the welds. Okay. You can see the distortion, how the tank is now bowed, bowed out, but it's, it's holding up pretty good. Alright, let's do about a 15 foot drop now. That, I'd say that's take probably. It all the way. No, that's probably 15 right yeah, there. Take it all the way. We're so close. Here, guys. Get some shot of this. Okay. Stress to back up. Everybody clear of the rope. Release. Here we go. All right. We have failure. Wow. Look at that. I'm shocked how full this up to. Yeah, I know. Okay, we're definitely hemorr hemorrhaging some water. The camera. Okay. Well, that's that for this one. Let's move this one to the background here. All right, this is our new tracker tank. We're going to take it up to five feet and do our initial drop. Right there. All right. Let's go. Looks to be solid. Caps are still on. Let's give it another shot. One more. Okay, that's a good. That's a good ten. All right, part will. Oh, 
probably broken one of my straps, I think. Tank is still in good shape. <laughs> Hasn't even phased it. What did we break? I saw, oh, the, uh, here, come in closer, Scott. These little tabs on the sending unit. Just from the force? From the force, it, uh, for whatever reason, it, uh, snapped the tab on the sending unit. Yeah, but if they it were... Could be the, well, I think oh, one yeah, of these the strap probably hit it. Snap back into it. That's all right. Let's see. But tank is still intact. Tank is still intact. Now we're going all the way. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Yeah, let it calm down. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Didn't even phase. Didn't even phase. Now I want to take this off. Come in here. Let's look at this just to show everybody. That this was full. Oop. There you go. Sucker was full. And now we're gonna go install this on Scott's vehicle. It's as good as new, even though it's taken a well here, let's do this boys. Let's see how far I'm gonna drop that is. You wanna drop it once more? No, no let's, let's just raise that up. Raise. So 19 19 foot drop. Okay, as we see here, this thing's solid. A little bit of scuffing from getting dropped three times. But everything is intact. And like I showed you, we got water in the tank. That thing was full. Okay, this was by no means scientific, but uh, we just wanted to show how tough these tanks are. No matter what you dish out, if you put it in a 4x4 going off-road, or heaven forbid somebody were to rear-end you or something, these tanks are going to hold up. This aluminum tank, although it did take uh, a 5-foot uh, drop and a 10-foot drop where it blew the cap off, and then it busted wide open at, a, at our 19-foot drop, it held up pretty decent. Uh, I was surprised, but as you can see, right around here, the sending unit seal is, is no good anymore. All of these welds were stressed, and this uh, weld here just flat out gave up. And uh, let's see what else. Oops. You can see the trauma around here. Anyway, aluminum tank gave a good fight, but the Trekker tank took a 19-foot drop with no problems whatsoever. All right, we just dropped this over 19 feet uh, onto the asphalt and we're taking out the heat exchanger to see if uh, it sustained any damage. And here we go. All I can say is, Absolutely none. Sending unit is in good shape. Uh, absolutely no problems with the uh, heat exchanger here. So we'll put her back in and start using it again. <laughs>